I covered up this fresh concrete. Uh, we had rain come in. I was afraid that the driving rain would uh, damage it a little bit, so just covered it up, keep the, the direct rain off of it. Don't care that it's wet, I just don't want the direct rain to damage it. We have the big boss mama kitty down here today. She's checking things out. I usually spray down the fresh concrete for a couple days after it's been uh, put in. Then uh, just uh, helps keeps the moisture in the concrete, uh, lets it cure rather than dry. I was kind of looking at this elevation with the eye level and decided I wanted a little better measurement so I went ahead and drug out the laser and got an exact measurement. Doggone stick supervisor's back, patiently waiting for me to throw a stick for him. In order for this lower foundation wall to be level with the top of the footing on the upper one, I've got to have three foot and one and a half tenths. Even calculating with the eye level, I come up to uh, around three foot, so. As inaccurate as that is, it still is pretty close. I was going down here through the forms and deciding which which ones would work best for uh, that three foot wall and decided on uh, these right here. And I went down to the local cement company and they filled me up with some sand and gravel mix. So the wind and the rain came in so hard that I didn't put my camera out there to film while I was taking the gravel out of this truck, but needless to say, we got it done. So I rearranged the area where the cement mixer is, make it just a little bit more convenient and easier to uh, shovel the gravel and stuff into the mixer. Uh, after doing that la lower footing up there last week, I decided, eh, we've got to do this a little better than what I had it. Uh, That's the latest update on uh, putting in this foundation for the greenhouse. So, check back with me.